Uh, hello guys, today we're going to do week two of the preseason. Let's take a look at all our stuff here. Alright. Oh, he's out for five weeks? Holy shit. I mean, it's the rest of preseason. I mean, he'll be out a little bit at the beginning of the regular season, but... Yeah. All right. Ah, shit, field petition, sorry. Um, I'm not really gonna look at these till halfway through. Free agents. Dominic Rhodes, interesting. He could be a solid backup. Okay. Let's make it. I like how you could, man, imagine didn't have that where you can choose how the contract, you can do the contract. Let's just do, what is the interesting? Oh, he just wants a one year, wow. Anything else? Anything on the trading block? V carry? Yeah. All right, Oakland Buffalo. Let's do that. Oh yeah, the scouting. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at them. Gannon, Collins, all right, they're kind of tight there. They're decent there. Seeming's gonna be tough. They got some guys. Centers. Guards are good. Tackles are okay. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Ends are fine. Um, the linebacking leaves a little bit to be desired. 
They have that. They have Woodson, but everyone else is meh. They have both Woodsons. Buchanan in there as well. Okay. Alright, I don't need to get that detailed. Okay. Nothing from the Raiders. This part's the only part that could... I like there's some auto stuff, but you can add more if you want to. See how it goes with that. Quarterback seem to improve in kickers, but gain one of each, that's good. Lost three of each, geez. One. Okay. Looks like I gotta put more in with all the positions. To kind of keep it up. That seems to be the biggest trend right there. So, without, like, exploring shit or whatever, that takes about 10 minutes-ish, so...
tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Kick first. Alright. Alright, it's going to be very rainy. So let's try to be a little conservative in this one. We won the last game. I don't know how much they're going to pass. They are a pretty pass-friendly team, but... Oh, shit. I assume it's going to be a field goal. Man, with this weather, it's going to be interesting to see if they can... Oh, they missed it! I can't believe Janikowski missed that. Crazy. I forget you can ask the coach with these things. Careful. 
There we go. Swing pass, see if it does anything. Gotta learn how to. <laughs> You know, it's interesting because he only has 50s, but I moved through it. You know, I got a decent amount of yardage with that. And Bledsoe is not a scrambler, but you know what? With it covered like that. We'll try a field goal, test the range out. Oh, nice. Crimp credits. Nice. Oh, we got lucky. Get some of that yardage back. There we go. Next. 
Oh, come on. Fucking really? Oh, what a rip. Why am I in fourth grade? Crap. That's what I'm calling it. That's what... Jerry Porter. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I will say the one thing that Madden has in terms of realism over this is the fact that in preseason they do put in, like, the backups in, like, quarters or halves or whatever. This game really doesn't do that. So that's one thing to keep in mind with that. Okay, I, I got shotgun, yeah? Let's do some shotgun. We're gonna pass. Let's pass. They know we're gonna be going for it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, nice. Fourth 
Yeah, they're gonna get it. Shit. Okay. Big sloppy fest right here. Turnover. I'm Chris Berman. Look at our half time stats here, and boy, look at the difference. Ah, man, we just haven't done crap. Way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started with this one early in the first quarter. Rich Loose Gannon connected with his man on this one. Yeah, but yeah, so pretty much the the biggest difference between the Xbox and the PS2 version is in the Xbox version, the, like, highlights during the game are still shots, Xbox it's video, but um, the weekly wrap-up show, both versions use video, so, you, so it does some video stuff, just not... Although I do low-key wish this was video as well. This is kind of one of those reasons to get the Xbox version. That's a tiny pick, though, to be honest. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance. Yeah, Jerry Porter, yeah. Jerry Porter has right. taken over this game. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. Getting the ball back, though, which is big. We're only down by three. All right, let's let's not lose focus on running the ball here. Shit, man! Oh my god! Let's run the ball again. Oh, Shaw. Nice. 
Oh, that were they were close. They almost got it there. They really got a score on this drive here. Shit. I, sh I was going to call a fair catch. I just forgot for a second. All right, we can start off with a pass to throw them off a little bit, but we got to get yardage. Oh, shit. Needed more. Try to run. Shit. Shit, not enough in time. Shit. <laughs> it's not the game right now. Need a turnover badly. See if they run it or pass it or whatever. Oh, fuck me. They convert on third down. Jerry Porter took on triple coverage. And First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. 
Second down, and this is the seventh play of the run. Massive number called on second down. Oh, my God. The Bills take a timeout. That's their second. Played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key. They make third down easily. They did just that. Now they just got. We really got to hold them. Alright, so I'll need to score a touchdown to get the win here if they make this field goal. Yep. I'm going to have to pass the whole way. I can't afford to run the ball. Jeez. Start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 145. Shit, that was... Damn. Second down, the clock is stopped at 142. Let's go. Final shoot. The catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down and four. I also need to call, be able to call another play. Shit, did I... Fuck. Did I do a QB draw? Shit. Come on, come on. Shit. Man, I blew it. I could have done stuff, but... I just was too sloppy. Couldn't complete passes. Couldn't stop some key passes either. That's how you play D. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but... Well, it's preseason. It's learning, but. Man, that turnover killed us. It did. If we didn't have that turnover, we would have been better off. For sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll start this one off late in the third quarter. Tyrone Weekly get up ahead of steam, and then was clear sailing from there. That set up the 27-yard field goal. Drew Bledsoe would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Raiders edge out a win, 9-3. to three. 
Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Jerry Porter is on the sidelines with Susie Cole. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly and you edged them out in a hard fought game. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, to be honest, we just believed in each other, and we believed in what we were trying to do as a team. Man, the force smiled upon us, and we were able to triumph in the end. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time. Hey. Alright, let's see what the end of the week thing is. Let's watch it. Let's see what we got here. But yeah, this is what I love about the 2K games over the EA games, is the 2K games, when they simulate, they allow you to simulate as the time you choose to run your own games. Because in Madden, they sim everything under five minutes, no matter what length of time you play for a game. So it throws things off statistically. statistically. Ooh, AFC. Ooh. Barry Gardner sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. Unfortunately, it's a torn ACL, and that'll keep him out for 17 weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list, and as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. This guy is probably the one that most leaps out at you. Broken ribs severely hampering his mobility. They'll keep him out for six weeks. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. The Colts defense held their opponents under 100 rushing yards in their win at the RCA Dole. Cowboys, Saints. Number 14, ready to go at the 16-yard line. Makes a move, spins. He's got daylight. Beautiful nice. pass. Boy, did that look easy for the Titans. The Cowboys go on to win this by the final score of 21 to 13. Hmm. The Redskins lost on the road and will have to travel again next week to meet the Chargers. Kevin Barlow and Ooh, 49ers receiving and helped his 49ers beat the Cardinals. By the coal mines of Pittsburgh, we had the Steelers get sent home with a 14 point loss. Maddox still quarterbacking them this time. Free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for it. Trey? All right, Chris. Tim Johnson. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League. As free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Tim Johnson is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Six years, $2.7 million. Eric Westmoreland is on the move as well, as he signs a three-year contract with the Broncos. Johnson will be playing his football elsewhere, but perhaps not for as much as he would have liked. Six years, $4.3 million, plus a $1.2 million signing bonus. This guy will also be locked up for a while as he signs a healthy six-year contract with the Packers. Hmm. Up at Lambeau Field, we had the Packers fall by ten points. The Raiders put it in three field goals in their victory. Six out of fifteen, that's pathetic. The Panthers won on the road and will now head home to meet the Dolphins. And last but not least, we had the Falcons come away victorious. So, two weeks into the books here on ESPN, here's my prime time performance for week number two, and each is going to get a game ball. 
That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. All right. That's going to do it for this one. It's about the same length as the first one, I think, roughly. Next one, we play Arizona. Okay. We'll save here. We went down a sl slight tag. We'll save here. We'll call it good, guys. Next is Arizona. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. In case you want to chat with anyone at the Campy Company, you don't want to. You don't want to use the YouTube comment section. We do have a couple options. First one is we have a Discord channel. Find a link to that in about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a community tab in our channel as well. You can access that anywhere, anytime. We also have a Patreon page. Main goal of the page is to raise money for the channel to give the channel a bigger budget to to do more ambitious things and also to start making merchandise for the channel as well and the merchandise itself will be geared toward aspects of the channel that you guys enjoy so any support we get for that is much appreciated but yeah guys thanks for watching please subscribe and subscribe and like the videos and have a good day